Welcome to All Plan Quick Start Unit 5. In the previous unit, I showed you how to create components like walls, windows, and stairs in All Plan. In this unit, you'll learn how to quickly dimension and modify these elements. To start with, click Open on a project specific basis and deselect the data from Unit 4. Now open Unit 5 and the detached house and ground floor structural levels below it. Select the ground floor. Then activate Drawing File 551. Some dimension lines have already been created. The dimension lines for the north facade are still missing, so let's add them now. Right-click an exterior wall of the north facade and choose the Dimension Walls tool from the shortcut menu. In the Properties, you can now define in detail how the dimension lines should be displayed. I've prepared a favourite for these settings. You'll find it in the Favourites Project folder. Select it. All you need to do now is select the walls you want to dimension and right-click to confirm your selection. As the direction element, select an edge of the wall and now place the dimension line. Then press Escape to quit the dimension tool. In the next step, we'll modify some components. Let's start with the entrance door. Click the door to activate it. Now the most important dimensions for the opening width are displayed. Change the value for the opening width to 1760 and press the Enter key to confirm. See how the values given in the dimension lines are automatically adjusted to the new door width. Next, we'll make a few small changes to the south facade. With F4, we can open another animation window. Then double-click the element to activate it. Now you can change different settings in the Properties palette. To do this, activate the sliding doors and this door handle. In the 2D views, set the door leaf position to Open. Then do the same in the 3D view. Now we can move the position of the sliding door in the floor plan. Finished. Let's take a look at the result in the animation window. Perfect! As you can see, it's actually very easy to dimension components in all plan. Even complex dimension strings can be created in minimum time. Later changes to components are just as easy. The dimension lines are automatically adjusted. The next unit focuses on height settings. I'll explain the plane model and show you how it can be used to flexibly define component heights in all plan.